This video demonstrates how to properly align the compressor flywheel with the motor sheave and set the proper belt tension. The V-belts transfer power from the motor to the compressor. To minimize wear and maximize motor efficiency, it is important to have the proper alignment between the compressor flywheel and the motor sheave or pulley. Please refer to the Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual, Item IE101, for detailed information and maintenance schedule on these compressors. The IOM manual may be downloaded from Corkin's website at corkin.com. Please note these important safety tips. Periodic inspection and maintenance of the compressor is essential. Equipment installation, operation, and maintenance should only be performed by qualified personnel. All procedures must comply with the Corkin Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual, applicable local codes, and safety standards. The transfer of toxic, flammable, or explosive substances is always at the user's risk. Review the Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual before performing any maintenance procedures. The following tools are required for the alignment and tension adjustment. A ratchet, socket set, and box wrenches. Sizes will vary depending on type of mounting. A known straight edge at least three feet in length. Allen wrenches and a ruler. The first step is to remove the belt guard. There are a total of five bolts that secure the belt guard. Remove the two bolts at each end of the belt guard and the single bolt at the inside bottom of the guard facing the compressor. The compressor assembly consists of a flywheel, belts, motor sheave or pulley, a hub mounted to the motor shaft, and a motor slide base. First, loosen the nuts holding the motor to the motor slide base just enough to allow the motor to move. For easy removal of the belts, loosen the belt tension by moving the motor closer to the compressor. This is achieved by turning the adjustment bolts on the motor slide base counterclockwise. Alternate between the bolts as the slide base moves to keep the motor square. Remove the belts. Next, confirm the alignment between the compressor flywheel and the motor sheave. The inner edge of the V-belt groove on the flywheel must align with the inner edge of the V-belt groove on the sheave as shown. Note, the outer edge cannot be used due to the differences in thickness of the outer edge of the flywheel. Using a known straight edge, measure the distance from the straight edge to the edge of the first V-belt groove on the flywheel. Next, measure the distance from the straight edge to the edge of the first V-belt groove on the sheave as shown. Compare the measurements and note the difference. This amount is needed to ensure proper alignment. In this example, the sheave needs to move inward towards the motor one eighth of an inch. To adjust the sheave, first remove the three bolts holding the sheave to the hub. Since the hub and sheave are tapered, reinstall the bolts into the threaded pulling holes as shown and turn each clockwise a little at a time until the sheave pushes away from the hub. Depending on the orientation of your mounting, the hub may be located on the opposite side of the sheave or pulley, but the steps for removal are the same. Remove the bolts from the threaded pulling holes. Note, before loosening the set screw on the hub, measure the distance from the edge of the motor shaft to the face of the hub. It would also be helpful to use a black marker to indicate the hub face position on the shaft. In this example, it is 5 eighths of an inch. Since the sheave and hub are one eighth of an inch outside of the flywheel groove, they need to move inward one eighth of an inch. Use an Allen wrench to loosen the set screw on the hub as shown and move the hub inward one eighth of an inch. Since the hub started at five eighths of an inch from the end of the motor shaft, it should now be three quarters of an inch as shown. After the new measurement is established, tighten the set screw with the Allen wrench and reinstall the sheave to the hub. Using the straight edge, remeasure and confirm V-groove alignment. Note, the tolerance is plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. Reinstall each of the V-belts.
Tighten the V-belts by pulling the motor away from the compressor. This is accomplished by tightening the adjusting bolts clockwise on the bottom of the slide base until the belts are snug. Alternate between the bolts when tightening to keep the motor square. When the belts are tight, confirm the motor's sheave or pulley is square with the compressor's flywheel using a straight edge as shown. Measure the distance between the straight edge and the face of the pulley at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions and confirm measurements are the same. If the pulley is cocked, tighten one side of the slide base until the face of the pulley is parallel with the straight edge. Using a ruler with a black line as shown, measure the belt movement. Typical belt tension should range from one quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch for each belt. After proper belt tension is confirmed, secure the motor mount to the motor slide base by retightening the four mounting nuts. Recheck the tension of each belt and confirm they did not loosen after tightening the mounting nuts. After the motor has been secured to the slide base, confirm the motor's sheave or pulley is square with the compressor's flywheel using a straight edge as shown before. After proper alignment and belt tension are achieved, reinstall the belt guard with the five bolts that hold it in place. There is one bolt on the inside and two on each end. Start by inserting the one bolt on the inside bottom of the belt guard and two on each end. After all bolts are inserted, tighten each one. This completes the procedures for aligning the flywheel and sheave and setting the proper belt tension. Visit the website often for the latest technical updates and news on all of Corkin's products.